Hi, I'm Samaru, and welcome to my channel. There is no face cam today, only a scary lady running away from the storm on your screen. Um, I <laughs> look really bad, so yeah, there's just no face cam. Sorry. <laughs> but today we are here in Newcrest. We are building a small little modern home perfect for a fashion influencer and with that being said let's just jump into this video i really wasn't sure what i wanted the house to completely look like i just knew that i wanted elements from the house on the left and elements from the house on the right the elements on like from the house on the right they really quickly fall away and it just looks like yeah a house that is basically much inspired by the house on the left so i have decided that this entire neighborhood is going to change that little starter home that i built the other day i am just going to completely remove it and i don't know where i'm going to place it but this is not that bold i am here to talk about this house i also wasn't too sure what the color scheme was going to be as i said i just knew that i wanted to build a house for a fashion influencer I wanted this to be a one story this turns into a loft and it looks absolutely beautiful and then i wanted the office to be kind of separate but still be attached to the home i also use that door that i placed at back the one with the glass paneling it is base game but i completely forgot that when they added the extra swatches, like the white and the black swatches, they never added a white swatch to that door, which is a really frustrating. So we just changed some designs. I used the door from the Machino pack. There, at this point, there's no windows, so we really needed light to come into that build. So I wanted to use the a door on the back that just had some glass paneling i used that same door on the top level to get out onto the balcony as well we really need more doors i would love just like a door kit and a window kit please <laughs> like i feel like every time i'm building i keep on just tending to go to the same things because everything else is just so ugly or they are very specific to a certain build. I, yeah, no, we really need more doors. It was so frustrating trying to find just a door that matches. Now, with the color scheme, this is just the basis on the outside. We have this dark blue mixed with a white. We do add a lot of color. So just keep in mind, a lot still has to change. I decided that I would like the balcony to kind of be split into two halves where we have the half walls and then we also have like the normal fencing. I then thought that that would be a nice cute little detail just to add the blue. We are going to the roof details. We still didn't even by placing that massive window in our office space. It didn't bring in enough light the roof covers a lot so we go in with a skylight i put a skylight in the main house as well it's a lot of light i feel like in real life this would be so frustrating and just so bright you would probably constantly have a an headache if you have to work with massive bright sunlight just piling up on top of you but it does look beautiful and that is what we are going for the sims we're going for aesthetics and i love it i would love to have this in real world i also built a loft just completely off topic where i had like uh, where i also placed like a beautiful like roof detail 
and uh, yeah with that as well as i decorated it i told myself i was like oh my god like what is happening why is this so bright that build should be up tomorrow or the day after but it will definitely be up this week it just depends on what build i want to post tomorrow <laughs> what i feel like i would like to post but yeah that aside we go in with a lot of bright colors mixed with the white as you can see white in this house is basically going to be just our prime it's like our canvas and then we just add a lot of colors to that especially yellows i use a lot of yellow yellow is bright mixed with pinks and purples and oranges all in all, it just looks absolutely amazing. We add this little, like, gallery wall just to fill up some space. And then we go over to our kitchen. I have never used this fridge before, especially in pink. And she looks absolutely stunning. It is the other fridge that came with Cottage Living. I always just tend to use the one, <laughs> the other one, <laughs> the one that's a little bit cheaper. But yeah, this fridge, it's just as stunning. Paired that with a, you know, as you can see, a lot of colors, some yellow, some green, and a orange stove. And I am obsessed. It looks so cute and absolutely amazing. Here we go upstairs to our bedroom. I use this lofted bed. This will always be my favorite bed in the game. It's been my favorite since um, City Living came out. And that was so many years ago. And it's, she's still iconic. She's still amazing. Of course, I would love to have more swatches. <laughs> but <laughs> that is a complete wishful thinking. But she is absolutely stunning. We go in with this light purple. It's like a violety color. And it is so, so, so stunning. It is exactly the right amount of color that we need. It's not too bright, so it still blends in with the white. And in some cases, when the light like shines on it, it just oh, it does look pretty white. Which is what I was going for. I didn't want bright colors. Now, this is the office space. As I mentioned, this sim is a fashion influencer. So, on this lot, you will have everything that you need to be a fashion influencer. We have an easel. We have that style board. I have a computer. We, yeah, there's a lot of things that we go in. I even add some mannequins that I also dressed up. But I will show that to you. At the end of the build, when we go in for a tour, there you can see the two mannequins and a camera because you also need the photography skill. So everything is here, everything that you need, you can just come in and play. This house is a little bit expensive, but that's okay. Things are, <laughs> things are expensive, okay? This isn't a starter build. This is just a build for a fashion influencer. Also, I don't know what I I did before I got the tool mod. It's all that I use. I am obsessed. I know there are a lot of people that don't like builds that are built with tool mod. But honestly, you need to get it. It is amazing. I was one of those people and I really, really, really regret it. It is amazing. You can do so much of oh, those little frustrating irritations where, like with platforms, gone. You can just lower that plant with the tool mod. And it is amazing. It's amazing. I've put carpets on walls, all kinds of things <laughs> that you will see in the builds to come. And it's, I don't know, tool mod is just everything. It's everything and yeah just go ahead and just play around it's it's stunning it's stunning it's honestly like i do, i would never be able to go back and not work with the tool mod or without it it's like finding um what is it called move objects for the first time it that was such a game changer when the game just came out move objects wasn't there and yeah you you would not believe how irritating it is it's it's it was just so frustrating 
we created this beautiful little backyard sitting area with a pool we have a beautiful dining area we add some plants it looks just so cute and you can already see the color coming in i add a lot of plants in that big plant boxes that are kind of like the walls that's around the bulb that's separating it from the lot on the right so cute absolutely cute we also add a hot tub. This sim clearly chose career over family at this point. At this point. And there's absolutely nothing, nothing wrong with that. You do you. And, I mean, bring in that money. It's the sims. <laughs> I... I, I don't know. I built an ostrich, an ostrich. That's what I wanted to say. Why? Why I would say ostrich? Nobody knows. I I, I haven't even seen an ostrich in like months. But anyway, <laughs> I built a house for an astronaut as well. Massive build. It took me so long. That should be up also this week or Monday depending on, as I mentioned, when I feel like I want to post what. This is not the only problem. I have things pre-recorded and ready to be posted. I just, I'm not too sure when I want to post them. And yeah, the, the struggle, clearly. But yeah, so we go ahead, we just blend in this lot with some terrain paint this is amazing this always is like the favorite part of the build it's when the build really just starts to blend into the world she looks absolutely stunning i i'm going off tangent like off topic again but yeah i am also kind of starting to get excited for horses so i did get myself the sims 3 pets <laughs> i own quite a lot of sims 3 packs but not pets and i am currently busy building a like a ranch in the sims 3 and oh my god it is so difficult going back to those like build tools it is insane i don't know how i got into building with the sims 3 i really don't <laughs> it like boggles my mind but yeah everything has to be planned out beforehand because you can't just add a foundation afterwards i learned that the hard way where i had to start all over again it was a nightmare but yeah i'm cry oh, i'm quite excited for that also, I've been playing The Sims 3 in my spare time, and she is amazing. I'm having so much fun. I just went into it, and I was like, I'm just going to see how it is. And then, like, four hours later, I was playing it. But yeah, let me just jump into the game, and I can show you this build. And here we are back in the game. It is quite rainy here in Newcrest today. And as I mentioned... This is the house that was roughly the inspiration for this, because obviously they have to be in the same neighborhood. Forget about this one, but I will link this video up in your corner if you have not seen it. But let me quickly show you the floor plan. Going down, this is our upstairs little landing with our hot tub and a small little seating space going even lower we have our kitchen our living area and then of course just our little bathroom over on this side we have a another bathroom this is where the shower is in we have the small little outside sitting area. Here is an easel for us. We have a tiny little camera over there. And then, of course, just some outfits that I designed. You, If you want to download this house, of course, feel free to change absolutely anything. Especially the clothes, if that isn't up your alley. 
And then, of course, just the house from this angle. I absolutely love the pool and this little sitting area. She is just so, so, so cute. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Hopefully tomorrow I will look better. So <laughs> then we will have our face cam again. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that notification button so that you don't miss out on any of my uploads. And then I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.